Today we have a projectile that looks, well, much like a dustbin, or if you're American, a trash can. This was designed and created by Evan Perry of Texas. Evan will look at a piece of junk and say, hey, I can turn that into a supersonic projectile. And surprisingly, most of his creations have flown incredibly well. Now this projectile isn't just a cylinder, it's actually got a, a slight taper to it. And he may have done that to make it a little more nose heavy. I'm not really sure. You never really know what's going through Evan's mind. Now these are made out of either zinc or pot metal. I'm not really sure. And they're not super heavy weighing in just under 25 grams. Now these will require a kind of a custom made Sabo. And this gives you an idea how I did that using an old shotgun shell. The Sabo does a couple things. It keeps the projectile centered in the barrel and it also protects the barrel because this thing has some steel parts on it like the washer on the back and you don't want that dragging down your barrel. Now the fit in the barrel has to be very precise in order for everything to work properly. Now you can see we don't have a lot of contact between the Sabo and the projectile so it'll be interesting to see how much spin we get through a full rifled barrel. The projectile sits on top of an FS-12 gas seal and the Sabo halves go around the projectile. It's pretty simple. For today's test, we'll be burning 23 grains of E3 powder. E3 is one of the fastest burning powders that I have, and we'll be testing these through both smoothbore and fully rifled barrels. We had fun testing these, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with their performance. Welcome back, original gangsters. No, cut. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to edit this out. Welcome back, Tough Leader folks. Jeff, Officer Greg, a slug, Brandon. What more do you need to know? We're out here today. Evan, you remember Evan Perry from Texas? He uh, designed some wacky, wacky stuff on a home lathe. And if you haven't seen it, go over and check out his channel. We'll put a little link down here. He needs to explain what he's doing better in the videos. I, I just want to say that. Videos. Yeah, Evan, if you're watching this. I, I've always like, I, I'll watch him and it's like, where did that come from? What's yeah. it made out of? Come on, Evan. Evan finds a lot of cool hardware, yard sale items but he puts them on a little homemade lathe and he makes them into some really cool slugs for us. But he, on his channel, doesn't really explain too much where the items came from or what he's doing. So that'd be cool if he turned around in the camera and told us where these things are. But these, we named them the flying dust bin. They're shaped a little bit like a little trash can. Um, we have a flying trash can already out there. So how about the flying dust bin? There's already a flying dust bin, but there's a flying it's like a, There's a it was flying like this big gun. round and from World War II from yeah. a British tank of some sort. So these are a little cylinder. Jeff's going to show you here on the tabletop. A little cylinder with a slight taper to them. Jeff has colored them red for our viewing pleasure. Your viewing pleasure. I thought it looked kind of cool. It looked like a red eyeball or something. Jesus. I don't a little, know. little red rocket on there. Yep. So uh, we're going to fire these downrange. We're going to start with Brandon here. He's going to collect one of them for us. Right there on the We're red X. We're gonna try smoothbore first, because if it yes. if these work out of a smoothbore, then you got that natural aerodynamics, you know, stability. You do. So we do have a rifled barrel back here, a full rifled barrel, 18 inches long. What? Full uh, rifled barrel? It and makes a shotgun? everything better. I didn't know those things existed. It makes life sweeter. We're gonna try it though out of both. Send them down range. Got some cool little targets, some exploding targets, and some uh, very disgruntled targets, and see what you guys think. So. Let us know. Kabowie! Aiming at the red tape there, right? That blue circle right there on the vest. <laughs> gotcha. All right. When you're ready. Is that a hug? Okay, I'm ready. Oh! Got some That's, that had him in faster than 975. Stout recoil. Really? Yeah. In this first test, we could see using no rifling, no spin at all, the slug is kind of oscillating through the air. Now the slug is more or less trying to stabilize itself. It never actually tumbles, but it is oscillating and it's oscillating really fast. Now the accuracy wasn't that bad. It was just off by a little bit, or we can just blame Greg as always. But in order to give you an idea how fast that thing was waggling back and forth, let's look at something else. So yeah, that slug was oscillating at a pretty high frequency. After doing this test, I had a much better appreciation of the speeds involved. I don't believe that chronograph reading 
No, we got what, 975? Yeah, sometimes when you have a Sabo round, you'll get some weird readings like that. Yeah. It was, I'll tell you from the shooter's perspective, it was a snappy recoil, not real super hard, but it was a snappy quick recoil as opposed to most shotgun slugs. Yeah, we were using a fast burning powder called E3 in this 23 grains, which oh, I, is a, felt like a an large E2. volume of powder, believe it or not. Okay. I believe you. I okay. believe you. Uh, take a look down here, though. This is what we found on the vest. Okay. Now you're going to make me... Oh. You want me to lift the vest up? Is it easier? I don't know. So you saw it knocked Brandon over. Check that out. The flying dust bin smacked into that Kevlar, and watch this. It's still hot, by the way. Oh, okay. It is actually still very hot. Still. But it left a little uh, little mark there. It wanted to tear right through. It did not make it through, of oh, course. Oh, okay. Look at that thing. There's a little hot hot dustbin. Now you know what it looks like, Greg. Now I do. I often start it's these videos not knowing what these things look like. He doesn't. Yeah, I, sometimes I'll send him a picture of it or something. I always ask but Jeff, what are we shooting today? And he goes, oh, you know, it's this thing. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. It's weird how the lip of that is ripped away. Greg doesn't like all these weeds that have grown out here, so we're going to spray it down and get some... Yeah, I think it's got Roundup in there. It might get meso... Themiona or something like Mesothem that. It tastes like mesothemioma. <laughs> oh, Lord, right through it. No explosion. Oh. In test number two, we still had the little waggle thing going on, but look at the accuracy of this thing. Now, you could spin stabilize a turd and make it fly stable through the air, but to get a projectile to fly stable and accurately through the air without that spin, is very difficult to achieve. Evan makes it look easy, but it's not easy, folks. We're gonna try some of Evan's little flying dustbins out of a fully rifled barrel, so rifling all What? The... Shotguns have rifling? Yeah, all the way, and it's still a shotgun. Did you know that? I didn't know. It's not a It's not a uh, destructive device? No, that turns it into a rifle. No, it doesn't. It turns into a destructive device because it's over 50 caliber. <laughs> That's right. So hey, I hear that all the time. It's like, look it up. Just look it up. This is an actual uh, Remington barrel on a Remington 870. It's rifle all the way from the chamber all the way out to the end. Let's spin them and see if we can get any accuracy. We put a, um, a gummy bear downrange, so. Okay. The smooth bore was awfully accurate, though. Yeah, that last one was beautiful. 1330. Using full rifling, you could see we have a pretty anemic spin there, but there is spin. And we have a little better stability too, no more waggle. And what's interesting, even after it passed through the ballistic gel, it was still flying straight through the air. So far it looks like this projectile does well with spin or without it. Evan just impresses me, I, I sound like I'm BSing you, but he impresses me over and over. Every time we test something, I think it's gonna, there's gonna be problems with it, you know, but. And then he swung by and mowed your lawn. That was really impressive. That, that helped, yeah. So I was aiming for the blue heart, it went a little bit to the left, but I mean, that's pretty dang accurate at this distance. That's pretty good for an experimental load, experiment, yeah. Like you would expect with any big flat nose kind of uh, round, it left a big giant hole. I mean, I don't know if you can even tell, but there you can see daylight through that hole. Like carved out. I can't see daylight, because there's already daylight out here. Oh. And exited right out the back there. Nice big gaping hole. Uh, you like those. <laughs> Stop it. Can't take you anywhere. The gaping bear holes. Stop it. It's a little dance troupe I'm putting together if anybody's interested. <laughs> what are you mixing up there? Kool Aid? Well, Jeff, what I've, what I've ordered up for you is a bucket of Mark 1 Mod Zero imported mud. Oh, don't put your hand in there. Oh no, we're going all the way in. Oh. I just want to show the viewers that this is real mud. So this is like the Mississippi ballistic gel? <laughs> the Mississippi ballistic gel in a Christmas bucket. Um, and look, there's the proof. It can't take you anywhere. So we're gonna shoot a, are we gonna try a rifled round? In yeah, let's do, keep going rifling. We're gonna try a rifled round at the uh, at the red tape down here. Oh, wow. Kapuya. Kapuya, kapuya. Now, once again, we didn't have a whole lot of spin and we didn't have a whole lot of contact with that Sabo. So we were losing a little bit there. It was slipping a little bit. 
Also, bear in mind that these slugs are handmade, so there are slight differences between each one. And that means we'll have slightly different results ballistically. Now, based on these very few tests, I can't really tell you which is better, rifling or smoothbore. That was stable and accurate. It hit the, it hit the tape. I think it was a little tiny bit high. Was it so am I, but... <laughs> Bro, 420. Uh, was it spinning on this one? Yeah, yeah. Light, A real light spin, though. Awesome. So was I. Hey, um, it hit the uh, metal tin and popped it open like a Russian tank. Exited out the back. Blew a bunch of mud everywhere. Hey. It's... And haven't we all blown a bunch of mud everywhere, Jeff? I'm betting in slow motion. I tried to watch it in slow motion in real time, it didn't work. Yeah. I tried to slow down you my can, eyes. If, sometimes if you squint hard enough, you can Yeah, but do if you look part. really closely in that crack right there. Oh, Greg. I know, I got you again. Dang it. All right, let's move on to something class here. Okay. This is where I hit. It, no, you hit right in the middle. No way. And then it shot down. That's it right there. No That way. is not the track. This one wasn't here before. Yes, it was. So two things went through this gel. Look at that. Okay. Well, if that's the same track, then we hit the same hole as because, before. Because, okay, in the high speed, it, sure it, it entered the middle, Are you sure and then it isn't? shot down like that. Are you sure that little thing right there isn't from the previous test? That's it. That's the washer All that right. got stripped off. All right. Science says this is the washer that got stripped off. Okay. Let's <laughs> we rinse that off. So then, it's like magic. So then now we we don't know what in the hell it did in the wound track. <laughs> All we know is that the washer stripped off the back of it and the rest of it hit down I here. I blame that guy who was supposed to cast it, you know, coming up with these stupid excuses for not recasting it. For what? Oh, for not knowing which one's which. Cast it in gel? Yeah. Here's the cool thing. Look at the little screw on the back that Evan screwed in. You can actually unscrew it. I didn't know they were kind of hollow. That... Hollow until they get screwed. I thought they were solid. Look at that. What yep. the devil? You can screw the little machine screw right back inside of there. For the next three days, Greg and I argued which wound track was which. But luckily, we have a high-speed camera and we can see what happened. Now you can see that Greg hit it dead center, and it was a good shot. The slug, because it was spinning, kind of yawed down and ran into our Kevlar vest, and we were able to capture that one. Now the washer was torn off immediately when it hit the gel and because of that large wound track it just kept on going with momentum almost to the end of the gel. But, okay, uh, now okay, we're going to do something that everyone always asks us to do and that's a take a long range shot. Oh, oh, I thought you meant a skit using a bagpipe. No, okay. it was other than that. Other than uh, stop posting videos you know yeah, that's, that's a popular hey question. so uh we're gonna put a larger jug of water down at 50 yards 50 yards away we're gonna shoot it through the rifled barrel and we're gonna make a mark on the jug set it way down there on the table see if we can hit anything at 50 and if he yards. misses that's it that's all the slugs we have we don't have another chance yeah it's a big giant what is that uh five gallon jug it's so not it's... in five gallons it's like a, it's like a cat litter jug of two know. two gallons or something it's not that it's big it's the chest size, size. The torso, though. yeah way you can ask me a million times in the comment section where I got the t-shirt or you can go check out Warrior 12, I guess, is where they're sold. We don't get sponsored by Warrior 12. I just bought it with my own money. I think it's a cool shirt. So. Or there might be a Tau Plater Mouse shirt that you like and you can... Oh, you could do that. Check the merch section right yeah. down here. You guys look right down here. See that down there? Pick up those uh, Tau Plater Mouse shirts. People won't... They apparently they don't see it. They don't know what a what rating a video is. What does that mean? What do you mean by rate the video? So what? right below this video, right down here, there's going to be a comment section, or actually there's going to be a banner ad. Click the X and get rid of the banner ad. Then right below that is a comment section that lets you comment. Go ahead and do that. And then right below that is what we call a merch shelf. And you're going to see little pictures of shirts no, that the, the, Jeff the, sells. The shirts are above the comment section, Greg. Oh my God. That's, again, fake news, fake news. What are you watching it on? <laughs> I'm watching it on a phone. Oh, I'm watching on a PC, and Jeff, it's Jeff right watches, below the description. Jeff watches YouTube videos on an old rotary phone. I do, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they mail it to me on, on VHS. Your PC even has dot matrix printer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, let's, let's shut stop. up. And 50 yards. 50 yards. Did you aim high? No. Oh. You know, the blue, the white dot right on top of I think it went a little bit high. 
Now, despite using full rifling, we didn't seem to get a very good spin. We went back to that hokey pokey, wiggle waggle motion of the slug as it traveled down range. Now, the slug never actually tumbled, it just kept trying to correct itself all the way down range. You kind of understand why we don't do the long range shots now. When you only have six of these. 50 yards away, folks, is a long way to walk, especially in this heat. It's almost like 25 yards, but like twice as far. So <laughs> the round evidently went slightly over the top. I Windage was good. It just, you, you would have had to aim at the, the bottom of the, yeah. that cone to hit the center of the. Yep. Um, now per our bet, I now have to drink this giant jug of uh, cat litter water. So. Uh, <laughs> Just gonna turn off the camera. I'm gonna chug it real quick and we'll let you know how that works. Okay, so tell us below what you thought of these rounds. They were crazy accurate, even though I missed that 50 yard jug. And uh, I am not ready for this heat, man. I know it's turning summer too quick here in uh, Clownifornia, but that's what we got. Oh, it's like a nut and fancy video. He always yells at the camera through a Does through he? megaphone, yes. Uh, why? I don't know. I haven't watched that guy in a long time. Like, nobody has. He hasn't even watched his videos in a long time. Oh. Anyway, remember he was like the a big shot, oh, yeah. you know? He's been he's one of the earliest ones, Jeff. It was Jeff and nothing fancy. You guys sat around camping or <laughs> making videos. That's back when videos were made out of wood. <laughs> uh, anyway, we thank you guys for stopping by. It was interesting nonetheless, even though we only had six. I, I'd say he has another winner. Um, yeah. We I I have several more that he sent me that I've been kind of delaying, you know, I don't want to post them all at once you know I want to spread them out a little bit oh yeah spread out the love I had to, I had to, I actually had to tell him to hey slow down I have a lot of yours he was gonna send me some more different weird stuff so so, so let me get me if you do that I'll never get to the old ones you know yeah. that's that's I just want to make sure I, I, I I'm a conservator of his slugs I don't own them I just oh, really? rep you know I just take so care of he dies you pass out his slugs to his living relatives. yeah exactly okay. yep okay or sounds totally believable. I, they, well, just because people send it to us doesn't mean it's mine. It's still theirs, oh. I, and they're trusting me to use them. So you're a slug babysitter. Yeah. What you're saying. Now, a lot of people always ask me, how do I send stuff to you? Well, all these other people figured it out. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to get right. a whole bunch of, you know, it, it's very easy. If but you're that motivated, you'll figure out how. It really doesn't take a rocket Yeah, something. because oh. I get offers. If I put, gave that out, I'd get all these offers that go nowhere. I get a lot of offers as it is That's right. that never show up. They, it's like set out my like a, my PO a box. Date, it's like a date on grinder. Yeah. You, you get a lot of offers, but they just don't show up. <laughs> That's usually how it works. Well, anyway, if you, okay, need, if you need to up. submit stuff to Jeff, you will figure it out. If, if you're, you're smart enough to make a supersonic projectile, That's you'll right. be smart enough to know how to contact me. Yeah. So we thank you guys for watching and thank Evan for making these things and all of the things he's made. So go check out Evan's he's channel. A he is the, he's a genius. He is the, he is, I, I, I'm going to start calling him the slug whisperer. Oh God. He whispers the slugs. Boy, don't I don't you, know what that means. Put that but. mojo on me, Ricky Bobby. Go down here and check out in the de description section. Um, Jeff will put a link over to Evan's channel. It's fun to watch him make these things. He just needs to explain what's going on. Yeah. Or you need to put on some or music. Or dance or something. <laughs> dance. You or, need to put or, or on make, some music while Evan's making his uh, slugs because or, or he could whisper, be that A S M A R oh, yeah. crap, whatever yeah, so that is. They told me I need to make one of those of gun things on OG's Danger Show. I oh, please weird. don't. That's it is like, it is some weirdo stuff. Asians man. eating soup or something. I just don't get it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm not into that. Well, before weird we shit. get to Asians eating soup, we're gonna sign off. We still got to get back into town before the sun sets. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next. God, show. we just shut up already, guys. Yeah, they've already signed off. We're still <laughs> I know. Out here. We're still out here packing up. They're oh, long yeah. gone. Jeff. Yep. Yep. <laughs>